Welcome to today's stream. I'm pretty sure that you didn't expect me to start streaming at this time, or at least today and stuff. Well, if you remember back on my stream on Monday, I recorded a Let's Play of Quintus Mode Concert Tours from Tokyo uh, for the PS2. And I still have to edit that, because I'm, I'm basically kind of a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> um, but I still have to edit all the all those parts. I still have to record the uh, the replays for thumbnails and yeah. Uh, but th it'll be out before the new year begins. I can promise you that. At least I'll try to. Um, on that stream, I was interrupted on Monday because turns out I got a package as they saw in the box when I did my closing for my let's play. Well, that box just happened to be a console that I just bought. And I was and I was one of the lucky ones to be able to buy it. It's basically one of two consoles that people have been going crazy for, and I mean crazy. How crazy? Well, the moment a retailer drops stock of PS5 and Xbox Series X S, S's, immediately within like the first five minutes, it's sold out just like that. And uh, we have to rely on. Uh, Twitter accounts that tracks these, uh, these, these stocks that's about to drop in order to be able to, um, uh, to get a heads up on what, on when they're gonna drop them and see if we can actually buy them. I was one of the lucky ones to be able to buy from a Sam's Club bundle. And I'm hoping that the picture here that I have, I guess, brighter because it's an auto brightness setting. But I have a PS5. Yes, I do. Here's a picture to be able to prove legit that I have a PS5. Oh. Oh, I the uh, the uh, screen just uh, on on my phone just <laughs> turned off. But yeah, here it is, a PS5. I was very lucky to be able to get it because now I could actually play uh, PS5 and PS4 games. Yep, that's right. Uh, for both the PS5 and the Xbox uh, Series X or SS, uh, they are backwards compatible with the majority of PS4 and Xbox One games, which is a big uh, level up, I would say, because I never bought a PS4, and it finally gives me a chance to be able to play PS4 games on the PS5. Uh, even some PS4 exclusives that I wasn't able to play because I bought the Xbox One, I gotta say. And just earlier today, um, I managed to finally re receive a game that was ordered uh, online because I bought because you know I bought the PS5. I managed to order a game that I wanted to play uh, that I never really played before. I, actually, I only played a, a couple of times. Both the times was when my high school hosted uh, our own car show and my friend Sean brought his PS4 over and brought GT Sport over and I just played a couple of races with him on there. So, this game that I'm about to show you, it is Gwyneth's Sport for the PS4. Yes, GT Sport. This is actually going to be my first legit time uh, playing this by myself. I would understand there's been a lot of great games, uh, great things about this game. And it's basically the only uh, Grand Turismo game that's released for the PS4. And now that I got a PS5 here, I even checked the library on like if you were gonna buy digital PS4 games online. Thankfully, GG Sport was listed as one of them. And earlier, I just managed to put the disc into my PS5. And I was able to. Uh, have it in installed completely onto my PS5, so I waited a while so that we could be prepared to do this. So that's what we're gonna do. This is not a let's play of DJ's Point at all, otherwise I would have already played through the game. This is my first time playing through GT Sport, uh, legitly, like, by myself. So, I'm going to play GT Sport for the first time, and you guys are gonna be able to see my first experiences on playing this. And also because I want to be able to look back on this and see how I actually played this for the first time. I'm not going to really, really do multiple streams of GT Sport because 
I find it a little pointless to do so. So I'm just going to like just only stream my first time playing it so that you guys and myself will be able to see what it was like for me to be able to play this game finally for the first time. And also I I added in a love box so that if anyone follows or donates or whatever, uh, they will show up on the screen. So you guys are going to be able to see that. And I also did another change uh, last night. Um, I'm going to switch uh, scenes here. And right here, my Elgato screen is perfectly aligned. Now, now, I know what you're thinking. This is possible because I'm on, a, I'm on a PS5 and of course the game catcher software supports that. But I actually added the Elgato source on my uh, on my Streamlabs OBS um, window and not doing like a window capture on my game capture window and I'm gonna do this from now on because well it because I would find it irritating that I have to align the uh, game capture window to be perfectly aligned with the screen and I would need to like um and so I decided to just add in a, a new source for Elgato to be able to be inputted within itself so that I don't have to do like a window capture or anything like that. So if it's perfectly aligned it's because I added a new source uh, for the for my Elgato to appear in Streamlabs OBS rather than just do a window capture on the game capture window. So yeah, that is what's going to happen and that is going to be what I'm going to do from now on uh, including uh, for my special personal project, so I'm gonna do this for now on so that it it really just saves me some hassle from having to figure out on um, if this actually works and whatnot. And so I don't really have to mute my computer, my laptop, and I can actually use my headphone to uh, to be able to hear everything. All right, so enough battery on here. We have going to support right up here, PS4 game, but we're on the PS5. Let us finally start off, and I. Uh, after I put on my uh, headphones plugged into my monitor so I can actually hear it. Just want to make sure. And also, the Elgato uh, source on Streamlabs is actually about a second and a half delay rather than the game capture screen, um, window that's like a two to three second delay. So this works out just, this works out better for me so that I have to delay my microphone and audio just uh, only by a little bit rather than by two or three seconds. But anyways, enough went beyond. Let's get down to going to some sport finally for the PS4 playing on the PS5. And this is gonna be the best experience for me because Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's still copying the update file. Well it they told me earlier that it finished installing. I guess it finished installing to be able to play the base game. Game, but uh I thought I waited long enough to be able to do this, but <laughs> we still have 14 minutes left until we can be able to copy the entire update file. Well, I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna stop without updating, even though we're only 11 gigabytes away from completing it. It's still a lot of it, just some, um, you know, that means to update. I'll, I'll, I'll finish it later on tonight, so. Without further ado, we're gonna take the risk and we're finally gonna start GT Sport for the first time ever, playing on the PS5, originally for the PS4. Let's go. Needless to say, I gotta say. say of the, oh my god. Are we gonna have to do. We're gonna have to go through with this too. Or is it gonna go? Or is it gonna update in the background? I'm hoping it's updating in the background. <laughs> but yeah, GT Sport was released in 2017. <laughs> Back when I was in high school. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, yeah, as I saw to say, this is the first game I bought for PS4 or PS5. So this is the first game I was playing on the PS5. See so here, games are always saved in just for online. If I'm unable to connect to the internet, you'll only be able to play an arcade mode. The game will not progress via offline. 
All right, we should be we should keep this in mind because um I'm looking forward to doing the career mode of this or GT mode. Let's see here. Let's do some tricky. All right. Let's see here, please choose whether you're using HDL or a standard SDL TV. Probably Jeff Carlos and Brian Swanson standard SDL output. Oh, apparently we we don't have HDR installed. Well, I had to like adjust some things for uh, Elgato to actually to actually be able to uh, capture footage uh, on my PS5. So I guess go over the HDR. Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't really understand how what this is supposed to do. Oh. Oh. We just have to move the slides to be able to see the checker to be able to see the checker patterns. Okay. See darkness correction. Alright. Now display settings. Uh, press L1 and all on switch screens. Now I should be able to know because I'm because I'm using a PS5 control or a DualShock 5. I should say. Is it called DualShock 5? I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> but I'm but because I'm using a PS5 control for this, the uh, buttons are gonna be uh odd, oddly placed. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna have to. Let's see here. With screens and it works, it works perfect for me, so I don't need to change anything. Let's see, just placing it's two key output mode for PS4 Pro. Let's see, I can choose to prioritize uh, quality to be the same visual or data as 4K output, or I could just prioritize frame rate. The response only to mode that still offers higher picture quality than when playing on a PS4 console. Uh, I don't even know what to do for this. Um, just want to be able to make sure that it's that it's still going on the. That it still looks as just as good on um, my uh, Twitch screen right here. I also changed up the bitrate because we're playing on the uh, on a high definition console. I want it to always look good, so I increased bitrate up to eighteen hundred. Let's see. Um, because we're gonna, because I'm streaming this, I'm gonna say we we prioritize uh, frame rate. Uh, because, you know, I don't want lag or a spirit to lose frames. So yeah. Oh, right, let's see here. Uh, we can be able to change the options. Okay, that's good to know. And here we go. I'm gonna turn off my mic for this because this is an intro
sure that was <laughs> I'm sure that's gotta be a nice intro right here. But yeah, um this is Quintessmo Sport and as I showed earlier, because we haven't been completely updated yet, uh or install the update file, the campaign the campaign mode which I would say is the uh, main uh, career mode for a uh, single player is unfortunately locked because we don't have everything installed yet. So I guess until then, uh, hold on. I want to be able to see if, uh, yeah, I'm my first trophy from this from this game. Record your first uh, victory. Oh wait, I didn't earn it. Yet. It just showed up as as the first realistic trophy that you would actually earn from this. <laughs> I don't know who those people are, so... Uh... Let's see here... If I go to Game Hub... View Product... Oh, this is just stuff, but... Is there a way for me to track, um... Is there a way for me to be able to track uh, how much is updated so far? Because I... Because, uh... I want to be to get into the game main mode. Let's see, we got some options right here. We got an opening movie, long way demo, review short, so we'll do that. These are all the video uh, output options that were shown at the beginning. We're just gonna have that off. I'll keep making back music on, turn the race back music off because we want to avoid copyright. And unfortunately, uh, just as the same as YouTube, it also applies to Twitch, although it's not as bad as. YouTube's copyright system is so yeah. Mayo's gonna be for units and network. Uh no. Don't really care about that. Now for the control was vibration function. I'm gonna actually turn vibration off for this because I already showed you my DT concept uh let's play uh live recording that I kinda find the vibration to be irritating, so like <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to yeah. Let's see here for the default controllers. Now, in previous GT games, I would understand uh, the normal setting for uh, accelerating and braking and turning was using the uh, the face buttons for the accelerating and braking and the and the uh, D pad for steering. But it appears for this game, since we've upgraded. They want to be able to keep to continue the trend that other race games are doing. Uh, they want to be able to to put the steering braking on the two shoulder shoulder triggers, and just have the steering be taking place on the analog stick. However, I'm I'm gonna go more towards what I've been experienced with for GT Sport. So I'm gonna see if it has any other. Uh, options. Oh, wait. What am I saying? It's a default. Oh, what do you know? Oh, you will see here. What can I do? I'm gonna keep the R1 and L1 buttons to be what they are. Um, but I'm actually gonna have R2 be. Wait. Oh, we can be able to adjust them right here. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm gonna switch them to be like that. And and for the steering, we're gonna have them be up on the uh, direction buttons, aka the D-pad. We're gonna do that right here because I'm actually more used to being able to um, play going through small this way. For other race games, I'm fine with it's just you know with the two short triggers and the analog stick. But for going through small, I'm still gonna go for the uh, the face buttons in the D-pad. So let's go with that. And then it has options for uh, steering wheels. And about the game. Yeah, if no interaction properly, this is basically just, you know, the credits and the terms of conditions as well. So yeah, there we go. Uh, I guess we can just do a few arcade races. We have our normal races, of course, single race, time trial, drift trial, uh, two player battle in case that we have a second control, or we have uh, somebody. Uh, in the house with us, that's playing with us, of course. 
a VR tool in case you're using the PlayStation VR apparently. And a custom race, which I find kind of interesting. I'm not gonna go through that because I don't wanna waste my time creating a race for you guys. So let's see. Oh, you gotta be at a higher level in order to unlock these tracks. Oh, this is very interesting. I get, like I said, uh, I never played this game before, so I can understand that they want to take a different approach to how to make this this Gunter's more game than what I was used to from the previous GT games. So let's see what we got. We have five tracks available. Note the ISB way, two Dragon Trail tracks, and wait, what is this? <laughs> It's waiting to install. Did it just ins Did it just install? Did it just finish installing or something? I don't know. I'm not gonna waste my time uh, right now doing it. Anyways, five tracks available. No, the ISB way, two Dragon Trail tracks, and two Colorado Springs tracks. So, for GG Sport, of course, because this is, this is a new game, of course they'll bring back some uh, real world tracks. But, um, they made an entirely brand new selection of original tracks. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go for Seaside. And the one thing I like about this game, even though I never played this game before, one thing I liked uh, when I saw this for the first time is that you can actually switch uh, time settings for this. So you can go for sunrise, uh, midday, uh, or even the dusk or sunset setting. Which I find very, very nice. Um, I'm actually gonna go for uh, sunset because you know, race tracks work, works pretty beautiful in the sunset. We have some good selection of cars to start off with. Because you know, the way that they classify these cars is that they want to be able to put them in a different class level because you know, this game was. I believe was a collaborate with the FIA, so they had to be able to go by the specifications, I gotta say. So yeah. Let's see here. We're gonna start off by racing with the 2017 Nissan GR Premium Edition. Alright, of course, and as usual, we can choose different colors for this. I'm actually gonna go for the uh, let's go for the Aurora Flare Blue Pearl. I like it in that color. I like transmission as usual. Now for race difficulty, I'm gonna go for intermediate. I'm more of an average type of person when it comes to challenges or doing stuff. Like, I don't want them to be too easy, but I don't want them to be too hard as well, so I'm gonna go for that. And it looks like that we see what, the, what we're going off, uh, who we're facing off against in the field. Oh boy. Let's turn down my monitor just well because it was a little too loud. And of course, <laughs> we have assist options. Ugh. These things can change any time from driving around this menu. Okay, well, I'll just do it. So, you controllers, I mean, I already, ju I already just input them. I guess they have their own options for arcade one, I suppose. Let's see the drive options. Okay, so we're gonna go for automatic transmission. Oh, I'll just keep it as it is. Oh, the track choice uh, changed up a little bit. Instead of using like from 0 to 10, it is from 0 to 5, apparently. I'm gonna go for 2, because I wanna have at least a good amount of control in my car, but I don't want too much help, so. Yeah. Auto Auto Drive. Let's see. No, I don't want the AI to handle steering and braking for me. Uh drive line assist. Uh I'm gonna turn that off because I want because I've been used to um because I've been used to racing uh going trust mode without a driver line, so yeah. Break indicator, that's basically the right thing, but I'll, I'll keep that on. Stability, I'm gonna turn that off because it slows you down. I mean, it keeps the car under control, thankfully, but it slows it, but it slows it really, but it really slows the car down. I'll put ABS at default. Uh, 
kind of stealing his sis. Uh, what, what even is this? Oh, I guess this is what was previously known in the PS3 GT games as Skip Recovery for us, so... I guess we'll put that as weak, I gotta say, in one of advanced settings. Alright, display all info, of course, uh... Can't just that. I'm gonna put the scene sensitivity back to zero. And we're gonna put the feedback all the way to the minimum as well. So yeah. And for these things, of course, that's the same. So make sure it's been adjusted. Yes, it has. Okay, so this is a grid on the right that who we're gonna face off against. And let's go. See how we do in our first race. I'm glad it still keeps that um still keeps that signature countdown sounds. Like all the other TT games uh had. <laughs> see here. First time I ever drove this track. And we're in a field of 20 cars. <laughs> Not very interesting. I remember back in, I remember back in GT6, the uh, maximum field was 16 cars. And it appears that they also expanded up to 8, I believe. So you can have up to 24 cars. Uh, I would probably know for 20, on 24 because um, I looked in the back of the of the game case and it said 2 to 20 for the network player, so pretty much you know, it appears the maximum amount of uh, racers uh, in a race is 24. So I find that kind of nice. Trying to match Forza with their uh, high. <laughs> high numbers of drivers that, that would, you know, get them to have more drivers and control games in general in each of those games, so, yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's telling me to break? I don't need... Wait, hold on. Still? Okay, the, um... Uh, the start and select of, uh, buttons are... All we plays on this PS5 controller. Let's see here. Oh, it only provides text on when I should break. Okay. Let's see if it saves. Okay, cool. Okay, so I thought the break indicator was that red number right there, but no, it just it just it was only just text telling me to break. Okay. Well I don't need that text happening, I still have this, so <laughs> that's that's thankful for me. Alright, I'm all the way up to fifth place right now. This is in a two-lap race as well. Alright. Again, like I should uh, reiterate every single time I stream, uh, and I reiterated this several times uh, in my last stream. If you guys want to be able to ch uh, talk, always chat. There's a chat box right on, on the right side of the twist cam, depending on if, it had, if it's showing or not. Uh, but, but feel free to chat, I would love to talk to you guys. So that this, uh, this stream doesn't turn out to be boring <laughs> or something. So yeah. Oh, we're gonna have a new best sec though. And I'm already in the lead. Well, I probably should have expected this because I put I did put it in the medium level, so this boss is gonna be uh, sort of an easy win. <laughs> and whoa, okay. <laughs> that guy just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> uh, okay, I got a little wide. Sit behind me, okay. Let's go to the chicane right here. Okay, and 
check on my first race, I'm gonna win. Cool. How nice. Yeah. Did you look at that? Uh, we got a good amount of cars facing up. We got Corvette, Viper, Corvette Air Italia, La Ferrari, a Lancer, uh, even a Huracan. I gotta say, Jesus Sport is also a game where it shows off a good selection of cars, even brand new cars. And I don't want to compare this to any other series in general, but when you look at Forza 7 and Horizon 4, if they don't have any Tears of Rexes, this is a game that pretty much has uh, the, the brand new Tears of Super, and if I believe it was a new edition of the Tears of Yaris, or this, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> uh, included in this game to updates. And we can be able to show a replay of this, and I'm actually curious to see how the replays actually look in this. Oh, you could be able to increase it to each 10 second mark, or go back to each 10 second mark. And let's see, live timing. Ooh, let's look at this. <laughs> they have their own circuit map, are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. I can't believe they have their own circuit map. <laughs> Replays, and they have the own course map, of course. That should be necessary. Along with showing what type of compound that each drive was on, and we have different options to stand or hold with this variable. And let's play this info. Okay, that's how we set this is playable. What's variable? Can move this with this trigger and the focus will be on the ease of view. Oh, okay. I'll we'll, we'll just put a standard custom. And we have the option to be able to go back to, this, to the beginning of the race. How oh, nice. I gotta say, their, their menus look very neat and laid out, I gotta say. It also shows the time that it currently is for me right now. It's 4 50 pm. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, I gotta say that first race is pretty interesting. First time for racing on one is new tracks. And because we're still restricted, uh, I don't know, did it, did it, did it tell us that, um... Oh, we, we have different options for, um, all this stuff. But, uh... Oh. Apparently the left one is just for taking a screenshot. I don't want to take a screenshot of it. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna close this game because I'm curious to see if it actually finishes the stone completely. Well, I gotta say, this is very interesting. Oh yeah, it's just only the update file. <laughs> okay, it's finally updated. Alright, so it did finish installing, which is cool. Oh, I just found out. <laughs> no one's really watching the stream. The only why it only has one view is because the streamlabs user was watching. <laughs> oh. Oh, what is this? Is this a different intro?
I'm gonna say this appears to be a different intro after we up install every update uh, for this game. Cause I don't think I saw, you know, the scenes of people from what appears to be a gaming championship and the initial intro that we saw. We'll let we'll this play out. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna skip it. Like I say, that was indeed a different intro because I also gotta say I didn't think I even heard any commentators from more sports broadcasts be put into the intro, which I gotta say that was very that was very clever. I don't think I've played any other racing game that had com more sports commentary in, in their own intro before. But yeah, since everything starts, looks like we are greeted with this. Welcome to the world of Grinch vs. Sport. We give you your first car as a gift. It's my first gift car. Looks to be a Hyundai Genesis. Coupe 3 point track, Genesis. How nice. <laughs> Alright, this was updated version 1.62. Yeah, and I gotta say, this game has gone through so many updates. They added so many new tracks and so many new cars for free. All I encountered was through updates. This we didn't have to pay for any DLC or, or whatnot. This was very impressed with that. All the cars and tracks added and through updates was for free. Same case with GT6, so I gotta say that was nice. <clears throat> we also got the this is a brand new tier that you always see, GR first edition RZ high performance one. Uh this year that's about to come to the course 2020. Oh yeah, and I also mentioned that 
the FAA has certified uh, going to some championships. The World Finals is happening. Uh, actually, I think it actually just been completed. Don't know why it's telling us this now. But yeah, since it's now been updated, we got all of the all of the modes uh, unlocked, including Brand Central, which is basically I would assume uh, is now the dealerships for all the cars. Yeah, let's see here. Oh yeah, we can also buy concert cars, so that's gonna be nice too. GT5 and 6 at the same case. The partners in FIA and Michelin. Let's see what they got. Oh, it's just. Oh, it's just showing like the history website of of the company. Oh, it's showing the official website. That's gonna be interesting. All right, so I'll just go to Asia Pacific because that's basically Japan's where Puerto Digital is from. Got into the cars. Hyundai's the only Korean brand. <laughs> and they even have their own Vision Contrastment lineup. I gotta say, they, all the Vision GT cars from GT6, they carry those over to GT Sport, which I find very neat. And they even included new ones that they were originally going to put on GT6, so yeah. See, in the showroom, we got the. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> the classic H6. I really, I really like this car. This car has finally been updated with a detailed interior. I also might also say that all the cars in this game finally have detailed interiors. They're all, you know, from what we call them from GT5 Premium cars. There's no standard cars, cause there's no. because they want to focus more on the, like, the more sport racing aspect of it rather than just putting, all, putting in all the cars. So. I find that to be a nice touch for G Sports. They want to focus more on the racing aspect of it rather than just trying to put in all the cars they could of of multiple variations of the same model. So yeah. <laughs> we got this new Yaris right here. Oh yes, this is the one. This is the one I really wish for that would have kept Tiara for the new Tiara Super. Uh, also the one next to it, the, uh, the GR Super RZ. <laughs> we want to drive this car here, but I have to do this earlier point. And I think, yeah, as you can see here, you, you thought Toyota would have like what 50 cars, like GD5 and 6 did? Nope. They limited the amount of cars they had because, uh, again, want to focus on the racing aspect rather than, yeah. Rather than the cars they they should have, or like wanting to have the most cars in any game, and of course all the cars here are listed in specific classes, like you know, like different motorsports would do. I guess it would seem fitting for them. So yeah. So that's what Toyota has. Um, let's see what Nissan has, because I gotta say Nissan is mostly associated with Gran Turismo because uh, it's. Do you see how many cars that they have in these games? It pretty much be a lot. I think it would be the most Nissans in any GT game, or or pretty much in all of them. I gotta say. Let's see, we got the one AXX. <laughs> we got the uh, three North but generations of the Skylines, which is very nice. We got the GTR. We have the 2013 GTR that cast drove in the 25 Noble Queen that same year. Wait a minute. I was wondering why didn't why didn't it go left or right for me and <laughs> whatever. We have this like your online to CP and we have this 2015 port that used the 2012 Lamar. But many people will consider the failed experiment by Nissan. <laughs> well I gotta say if you actually drove it, it'd pretty much be a decent car. I really like the uh the main bio information about where the brands are headquartered in, when they were established as a brand, and who the founder is. I find that very nice. Okay, I think that's gonna be all I'm gonna look at so far, at least for a specific. I wanna look at you up and see what cars they've got. 
And hey, look at this. This is actually the first GT game where they finally were able to license Porsche into the game. Finally. Uh, GT2 was the first unofficial game that Kaz wanted to put in his 996 generation 911 in there. But because they didn't have license, the car was just hidden within the game's files. Like this particular model right here. This was a car that was originally in GT3. But was had but had to be hidden within the game's files because they didn't have the license yet. And now they finally do was being able to include Porsche for the first time ever officially in a Gorgeous One game, starting with this one. Let's see, they had the 930, generation 996, they had the 997. Porsche Taken to the I don't think I've ever seen this car before. <laughs> we have what I think I think it's going generation, the 991 generation. We have this one, I've seen this in 4 or 7 before. We have the 91 RSR, the 993 generation, of course. The 919, the 962C prototype. I'm glad to finally include this car in the game. And we have the 56 356A. Clear with speed still. <laughs> and these cars are sold at extremely high prices. <laughs> and how nice, they actually included both Porsche and Roof or Ruff or whatever or whatever the hell they called they they call that brand and this into this game. This isn't the first game to include both Porsche and Ruff, no. Anyways I think actually Let's take a look at some American plans before we dive down to career mode. See what they've got. They only have 10 brands from America, and they even included a, a few, a few brands that's no longer that's no longer <laughs> that's no longer um uh, operated now. Plymouth and Pontiac. Let's see, take a look at Chevy and see what they got. Cause I actually own a Chevy in real life. So that's gotta be so. So I put put that out there. We had a 2016 Camaro. We had CT Corvette convertible. The C7 Corvette. Uh, 2018 Camaro ZL1 1LE package. Uh, classic Camaro was in Corvette. A couple of Corvette race cars in different classes. I gotta say. And they even brought out the 59C2 Corvette concept. This time it has a number apparently. Cause I remember G6 it didn't have a number. What's this? Driver contract. Let's see, it says a signing contract allows you to borrow for the duration of the series. You know, also allows me to enter the main fact. Yeah. I would also say this game uh, was put on a heavy emphasis on online gaming. Especially when it comes to the FIA Grand Tourism Championship for the Manufacturer Series. Apparently, we are now given a uh, virtual contract to be able to allow us to drive these cars uh, in our own career mode in exchange for uh, participating in their own championship. I don't think I have, I don't think I have any plans to, to participate in the main championship. If I do, I probably will let you guys know. And maybe, maybe I'll stream it? I don't know. But we'll have to see on that because <laughs> well it is nice to be able to borrow these cars uh for like uh for free and stuff like that i don't know if i want to if i really want to commit myself to a major gaming championship but anyways in this case enough with sh uh scout scouting through let's dive down to the campaign and see what we got with the gt league we have, we have the gt league driving school mission challenge and circuit experience uh, missions. <laughs> if I, this gives me flashback to doing a driving mission in GT4. Driving school, I would assume this is basically the license test. It's so experience is just practicing the um just practicing the racetrack to see how we to see how we do on them. Let's see, let's go to driving school first and see what we can do. Of course, as I should as I should know, they have bronze, silver, and gold uh, requirements for each one of these lessons. See, so once you call from a standstill, the 
Is it just launching or just break or just accelerating breaking? Oh, <laughs> they have a more specific, uh, specific uh, rewards from this. Rather than just getting going, just just boom, there you go. You can actually earn money from getting gold on this. Okay then. We use the ND world so for this, so yeah. we can see a couple of videos on how to do this, but uh, I'm not gonna go through that. I'm actually going to just go in completely blind, because I don't think I've ever seen anyone of these weapons before. At least I don't think so. Let's see, that's the subscription of it for the event overview. Let's see, driver options, adjust. Oh yeah, of course they have to go. We have to go by by specific tire compound for this. Of course, custom brake indicator. No, low fuel indicator. I'll turn. I'll keep that on because um, yeah, because I will want to be able to know if if in case and don't switch that I'm low on fuel. Counter steering assist, ABS. Uh, I'll keep. I'll keep these on the um usual. Settings, driver names, we'll do that. Kill goes, might as well. And turn the feedback all the way to the minimum. And then I will need to do any video options. All right, we'll see what we do. We we'll see how we do here in our first lesson. And I always. Play with the chase cam while we heal. That's it. That's all we had to do to get gold. That wasn't even hard. And I can tell that the music they use for when we get gold on this is the same music they used back in GT5. I would know because I've actually been playing a lot of GT5 lately. <laughs> Alright, so I get 1900 credits <laughs> from this. Of course, you can use this credit to buy new cars. I don't know. And this is a new thing, daily workout. You see, you have a gift card for me to be driving mails on. I guess I'm also probably gonna invest my time into doing this as well, just to know more about this. And GG Sport apparently also has an XP system. Yeah. <laughs> I better hope this XP system is not as shitty as the one from GT5. Because oh my god, that XP system in GT5 was fucking terrible. Okay. <laughs> That's all we have to do apparently to get gold. Are these lessons just gonna be easy? I don't know. Let's see, operate the steering wheel. One. Let's see, go to two gates to the goal. Uh. We get this qualifier if we run off track or we or we touch the walls or objects. We use the same color except it's colored red rather than white. By the way, if no one's watching this at all live, uh but you're interested to want to see this, uh, I am gonna archive the stream on my Race Friend Express channel, so you guys can be able to see how I do it and stuff. Alright, so let's see compound tires, put tax control to two. Gonna go by these same usual usual options, which is gonna be nice. Alright, let's see how we do in this track lesson. Okay, I got a 12.15 to get going. Pumps to greatness, another trophy earned. Seriously, these lessons we just. <laughs> I just. I just got them easy. And here I thought the the concept course license test was the ECS. The reason it was on Tokyo, the Japanese version. These are possibly even more easy. <laughs> 
All right, let's see what we got here. Obviously, we two again with the same car but different color. Oh, looks like this time we gotta go to four gates before the go. How interesting. All right, I just want to be able to see. We gotta do this for every, each and every single time because I want to be able to make sure that it's up to my specifications. Uh, okay. Oh yes. <laughs> I, I see. Oh yeah, we got different options for um, for the bottom right corner of the screen. Right here. Very interesting. I'm gonna have to play around with that when I keep on playing this game. And again, go! What the hell? What is this? <laughs> At this point, we wonder what the hell is going on. <laughs> see, oh, finally, we have a different lesson using brakes as our basic operation, and we have a different car, the 860T from 2015. Oh, this is gonna be our first stopping lesson. <laughs> so, so, let me guess, is this gonna be the acceleration braking test you were looking for? That's a very short time requirement right there. 7.5 just to pass it and 6.9 for, for gold. Interesting. You guys got a compound tiles. No, I don't want. I actually don't want the drive line assist. So, yeah. Okay. Let's see how we're doing in this license test. Oh look, it's the first time we didn't get gold. <laughs> How interesting. Uh, at least... We finally, we finally encountered our first tricky one to get gold. It was about a, a tenth off. But let's see if I can be able to um, at least get gold on this. Gotta launch it right. Let's see. Do I have to break earlier for this? I think I do. All right, there we go. And we have 3600 credits. <laughs> Zero miles for 22 XP. Actually, let's do one more list because I'm curious to see what the next uh, what the next level does for me. What's this? Using the same car. This time we stop at 100 meter mark. Uh, yes, I see. We have uh, different time requirements. They're longer than the last one. Let's see here. Do usual shit right there. Alright. Let's see how we do. This time, we have to stop 100 meters ahead. Alright. Now, I don't know when the breaking point is going to be, so... I have to take a guess right here. Again, easy going. I think they pretty much underestimated the amount of time it would take us to get gold, so... I guess they're making it really easy for us. <laughs> Alright, we got to level 2. What do we get from level 2? I would assume we get some new tracks unlocked as we saw in arcade mode. We're gonna exit out of here because uh, I think that's gonna be enough of lessons we'll do for uh, today or tonight. Whichever it is on your end. Uh, yeah. I would assume we get some rewards for leveling up. We unlocked an arcade course called Archidrome Logo Maggior. And we only got. Alright, let's we'll see here what we got here. Profile activity fee from my menu. Alright. Alright, these are these options are about the same. 
Oh, wait, we have staff quit or something <laughs> in the about the game section. Oh, well, if I. Well, my. What? <laughs> sorry. What about my activity fee? No, nothing. Okay. There's going to some life happening right now. I don't know. Let's see. You know, I think I might actually compete in the Go Just Championship if I wanted to. If I do, I'll stream it for you guys, because why not? Let's see, this being an official online race. We can't really do anything about it because I guess we're not at a higher level enough yet. It has own level yet where we can style our car to be a particular paint scheme we want. We can view photos we please with reason here. But this is also have music. I'm curious. Let me see. We don't have any suit liveries or something like that. Oh, music. Yes, it does. Okay. Oh no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna select. I'm not gonna play the music because I'm worried about copyright. Because this is also gonna be archived on YouTube. Let's see here. It has a, <laughs> yeah, it has a good selection of Jackie Costa songs. Uh, just want to be pointed out there. I'm, I've been listening recently to a lot of Jackie Costa songs, and I really like them. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking for when we uh do these races, we're just gonna put Jackie Costa songs on there. And don't worry, uh, he himself as an artist doesn't really copyright his songs, so it's safe for us to be able to play them on YouTube. And I don't think it would be a chaos if anyone. We all post the songs onto YouTube because I've seen multiple vi videos of that happening. <laughs> so, yeah. And let me see here. Is there any new songs that uh, that he has made just for this game? Uh, no, it doesn't look. It does not look like it. <laughs> I I find that a little um, disappoint disappointing because I would have thought he would have wanted to work on more songs. But I guess he might save that for GT Seven coming out. Which, by the way, Contest with 7, gonna be out for the PS5 in 2021. Who knows when in 2021, but it will be out sometime in 2021. Just wanna let you know on that. Is there a way for us to be able to select all the songs here? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Avoid that. I'm go I turn the I turn the waste music off. I'll play, I'll probably just figure it out um later on. Oh wait. And let's see let's check out our home. Oh apparently we need to be at level five in order to change our driving gear. <laughs> let's see if we can change our background. Ah, I see. And we can also take a garage photo. I'm not really gonna do that. Let's see what we got in terms of campaign. Let's see what the GT League has to offer for us. <laughs> Wind World. I recognize this from GT2 Arcade. And this game also has its own endurance league. Hey, nice. They finally bought like endurance races, which I hope is a good is a good length. Alright, let's see what we got here. Huh. Some new events are what the Queen of Salsa stripes. The new some GR Cup <laughs> as well. And the Z Heritage. We got some we got some new events to start out with. Sunny Cup is 9 races long? And Salsa Stripes 2. Are they making these to be championships? Oh no, this is a single race option. Oh, that, oh that's why, because... Rebel Wing and Monster was added to the update, so they decided to add these as extra races. You know, I actually, I actually think that's a good idea. Because, why couldn't they just do that in previous GT games? <laughs> This is what the GT game would actually. No, actually, GT6 is the first GT game where they actually add in new events uh, through updates. Uh, this is the second one, but 
think this is the first time they actually add an extra set of races in the already existing event. So I gotta say that's pretty nice. Alright, so let's... We're not gonna do all the races here, we're just gonna do a few to see what it's like. So the first race is gonna be at Northern Iowa Speedway, a new overtrack. That's less than a mile, I gotta say. Uh, no time and fuel consumption will be used, so we don't have to worry. Let's see, race details. Here are the race rules. Which is pretty neat. We have a max power limit, apparently. And we gotta use sports tires for this. I wonder, do we even have any cars for that? We have a Genesis, we can use that. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we do. Oh, how neat, it tells us what, what time is setting the, uh, the race is taking place at, and it's taking place in the morning. So, it's just it's the same as we checked. Uh, because we have to do breaking, I would probably actually draw on. And no, I did not want to auto drive. I did not want that to happen. I want it to be on. Whoa, that was a lot of cars in that one angle. And what's the call things look like? Huh. Oh, we have also have different options for for world, dirt, and drift. <laughs> but in, case, in this case, a world race. Uh, let's see here. We can actually... This is how advanced we can go for this? Huh. When you're, trans, when you're transmission. Well... I'm, I would figure that's where the car would go by itself. It, we're not actually a manual transmission. For our setting, at least that's not what I think we are. Yeah, yeah, we're not. Okay, let's do our first race. And this is for six laps, can we? Let's see if we can be able to win our first race here. Oh, yeah, this is a title. This is a title for. <laughs> Hey, at least at least this game has uh, a new selection of uh, over tracks to be able to use. So, <laughs> guess why not? Looks like the uh, FL means like does it mean first lap, or final lap, or? Is it I think I might be calling a best lap time. Yep, best lap time. If we're gonna go for best lap time, wouldn't you call it BL or an FL? I don't know what the F stands for. I would, of course, assume the L stands for lap. Uh, uh lap time. Alright, we're up to the third place right now, and... We already have a number two. <laughs> I should have figured that for GT Sport, they would want to put numbers even on production cars. I find it kind of odd the maps located on the top right corner because it's used to be placed on. Well, first it, it was placed on the bottom left corner, corner, and a PS1 GT games, and then since, and then the PS2 era and PS3 era was placed on the top uh, left corner, and now for this game it's on the top right. So that's so that's a, a noticeable difference right there is that the maps located on the top right corner of the screen. Actually, this actually I gotta say this seems going pretty decent. I haven't dropped any frames at all uh, tonight, so that's gotta be that's gotta be some good news up here. And we can jinx it. But anyways, we got the first win in our race event. We're winning the sun, winning the first race of the Sunday Cup. I can't wait to play more of this game uh, in my off time. <laughs> I'm lucky I was able to get this as my first gift card. At least in this save. And another another trophy on first victory. We get ooh, we get a 50% bonus for a clean race and a 20% bonus for a car handicap. 
mileage points, distance driven, and XP. Uh, same bonuses apply. We advance to level three. Uh, as a driver, nice. And this is what we look like as a driver at the beginning of the game. Watch replay, but I'm not gonna waste the time on that. Where I showed you what the replay looks like. Let's see here. Let's see, we did that. I'm actually not gonna go in order here. I'm actually, there's actually some reason I want to be able to reset. Like Rebel Wing, I haven't really wasted so, so much. It was updated. It was added in update GT6. I only wasted a couple of times, I haven't wasted as much, so let's see how this race handles out. I got it, and I, and it says it's one of the new races added to the Sunday Cup. Alright, this race will go on for two laps, and let me see, do we have to adjust, in, do we have to adjust the options each and every single time? No, we don't. All right, cool. Let's see here. This is what the field looks like. Uh, all right. We can change our car, <laughs> apparently. Uh, from that option. Oh, it it shows all the uh, cars that is eligible to participate in this event. <laughs> How nice! And also often show people garage cars in case that we have any. And there's some main rival cars that's gonna appear as opponents in uh, this event, so yeah. Again, no time on fuel consumption, let's go. Let's see how we perform here at the Red Bull Ring. Again, I haven't really raced here very, very much, so it gives me a chance to be able to try out this track uh, once again. For the first time in this game. I'll have to really look, look towards how this, how this is, uh, being used. And I got a break. God damn it! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm off track. <laughs> I'm back on track. This is, this is very neat. I gotta say. I'm finally playing Jesus Bolt for the first time, but yet on the PS5. And if you pay attention to long time, it's still fast. That's because with the enhancement of the PS5 with its backwards compatibility feature, the loading times are going to be able to load up much faster than the PS4 would ever do on, a, on any regular PS4 game. And I find that very uh, convenient, just in case that we don't want us to waste our time just waiting for the for the uh, event to start, depending on what game you're playing, of course. And yeah, I say, there's a lot, a ton of PS4 games available for backwards compatibility on this PS5. I'm glad I bought this. <laughs> Let's see here. In the car ahead, it looks like it's. In, I can't tell what that is. Is that an Impreza or a Honda Civic? I'm gonna have to take a closer look when I uh, go ahead and pass it. We'll have to see. Oh, it's in the prison. I can tell by the badge on the back. Yep. Oh, okay. I gotta say, that, that lap time. It would have been neat if I didn't go off course at the first corner. My god, this is a sharp corner. <laughs> That's the point. We only have one viewer watching, and that's and that's Dreamlast that's monitoring my stream. Uh, 
enough. We should have more people watching. Uh, in this case, then, um... I say the stream is actually going pretty well in terms of quality. I haven't dropped any flames at all uh, so far the stream, and it's looking pretty neat. I would guess that um, the PS5 is a better enhancement to like the official quality, because it also probably helps that I chose to perform you know flame rates rather than like the quality. So the PS5 really does kind of help out in terms of this. Plus with the new driver, plus with the new source, so I just added for Elgato. But it's only one of Cap too. Anyways, I win this is my eight of the Sunday Cup. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see, how much how many how far did I finish I have second? Uh let's see. I might have to decrease my audio a little bit. Uh, on Elgato, because it still looks it appears to be a little loud, at least on stream, at least on stream labs. I'm not really hearing it by any chance, but yeah. And I reach level four as a driver. I'm actually really curious. What do I unlock for reaching level four? Or do I not unlock anything? I'm curious on that. And let's see. Well. Well, final way to do for this team, we're gonna let's see. I don't want the race to be too long though. We already wasted this track um, for our first race in this game or uh, playing this game. So let's see. Yeah. Blue Moon Base B way. Oh, this this must be a race track or course of uh, global. As I should put it. Let's, let's try this. Take place in the in the uh, late morning. Oh, it's a specified tea time. Let's see what this track has to offer for us. I would assume this is also an over track, but it has its own inbuilt workhorse. Pretty much like how Charlotte and Indianapolis are in Daytona too. But we're on, on here for three laps, like I say. Well, this might be a little bit of a long way after all. I have to be careful because we're about to enter kind of a corner. Wow, look at how sharp that that turns one and two are at the speedway. I don't know if we need to like go go for an acceleration for those corners or if we need to break a little bit. I'm assuming you need to break a little bit. Oh boy! At least for three lap for three lap ways, we have some time to be able to catch up to the lead and be able to go go in the race. Oh boy, this is just shot. Oh no! <laughs> Make contact. <laughs> oh well, I gotta say, this track is actually designed differently. This isn't like a one, two, three, four turn walk, uh, turn over. I gotta say, it's a lot different than that. But we won't know on how different it is because we're racing on the world course. And look at that, I only got to the lead in just the first lap. <laughs> what do you know? Let's 
see how much speech I take to this corner right here. What does it look like for TCS? How is, does it does it indicate anything? Oh what? Oh wait. I see up and down there. What's do we? Oh, we can we can actually change TCS in ways. Wow, I <laughs> wow. This might be the first game to actually make that happen. And we can actually and looks like we can actually change the break balance to in race, so wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna stick to, we're gonna stick to be the same just as all the previous games was able to establish itself as. But I'm, I'm surprised we can actually change TCS and our break balance in the race. Wow. Okay, here we go, final lap. The field is entirely, is entirely spread out, I gotta say. I mean, look, look at everyone. And we're off world again. <laughs> yeah, look at the field on the on the map right there. The, it's entirely spread out. <laughs> at least with these assists that I have on, uh, the assists I want to have on, it gets, still gives me a good amount of control in this car and that doesn't does spin the call out, I think I say. Alright. Get back up to the oval. <laughs> and I see a plane right there. This is ready to be able to indicate that we just finished the race and Actually, what I really like about this, if we took, if we saw the flag right there, uh, this crate was carrying on for GT6, that whenever the race finishes, the, uh, the crew, the crewmen would be able to wave the checker flag to indicate that the race is coming to, to an end. I find it very neat. The checker flag's waving to actually end the race. So we got a crewmates bonus, even though we went off world, apparently, but the game doesn't think so, anyways. Which I have nothing to complain about. Okay, work out and we reach level five as a driver. Hey. Nice. Alright, so let's get out let's get out of here. And let's see, this don't lock anything. We don't lock um any future leagues. I guess we have to complete a particular amount of races to do so. Oh yeah, level 3 on we unlock the Kyoto Driving Park for Arcade, level 4 we unlock Sardegna, and at level 5, what we unlock? We got, we get to change our driving gear, we get to create a helmet and suit level we, oh nice. We unlock Blue and Base Spear for level 4 came, and we unlock Sukuba. How, how neat. <laughs> I actually want to be able to see if we can actually change our driver gear. Well, we can't now, but let's see what we can do. Let's see what we got. Oh, well, not much. And I don't see. And what is? Why is it? Why was it? Hey, why was it all fuzzy looking like there? Is it the way that my quality looks? I think it might be the case. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the case. Oh God. Okay, can we change? How can we change the level right here? I like it has some fun facts and send me to go to the FIA Museum. I wonder what for. How can we do that? 
Oh, I'll, I'll worry about it later. Let's see, we can go to a little bit air though. We can design our own racing suit. I'm going for a racing suit and helmet uh, design because uh, I don't think I am very really much interested in designing cars. Let's see, what can we do for this one? <laughs> The the other crewman also has the same <laughs> same suit but different helmet design. Let's see, what can we do for this? Ah, how how nice! We can actually change colors right here. Okay, so we're stick to white for this one. We're actually gonna go for I'm gonna go for a sort of uh sort of a light blue design. More towards Cyan, in reference to my online board named Cyan Works. <laughs> let's go for that. And for this one, let's go with um, uh, black. Oh, oh, it also changed the suit. So, okay, well, yeah, let's go for black. I think this. I think this pretty much. Uh, yeah, that pretty much looks neat. I gotta say, it's simple, but I like it. <laughs> We can go for a white background or a black background or outdoor. Although it doesn't really show that, but hey. Let's see. I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna make a new save on this and be able to stop from scratch again, but I just wanna be able to continue on just to show you guys the first time I'm playing this. I'm just gonna call this uh sample. Simple. I'm gonna delete this at some point, uh, when I play this in my off time. Let's see, upload computer design, you will see it as if you would like to upload design. Oh, uh, now? Uh, no. I'm gonna keep... Yeah. And what about my new design here for the helmets? I mean... Go okay, it doesn't... Okay, apparently it doesn't save the helm... It doesn't save the suit. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's see how we let's see how we can paint it. Only one color? Are you kidding me? All right then. Let's see how can we how can we make sure that. Let's see. For uploading, does it really upload to the to the to everyone? One that plays online, because I wouldn't want. Because I don't think I don't think it'd be nice to be able to. Oh, okay. It's just okay. I just upload and save to my library. Okay, cool. And I can save up to a thousand designs. <laughs> how how nice. All right. We'll keep this alpha as it is. We can be able to take favorite kind of photographic journey right here, but we're not gonna go through that because I don't really care about, you know, music. No, not music. I don't really care about taking pictures of photos on my car. We got S2000 here. Nice. Let's see what the mission challenge do up with us too. This reminds me of the GG4 driving missions. And these are divided into stages apparently. <laughs> okay, and they are very. They're not a specific sec. They're not of a specific category like GT4. They're, they're very driving missions. <laughs> All right, so let's see the first one here. Water, surf, water, water. We're going to Willow Springs <laughs> for this, and of course, for category for the uh, rewards and prizes, we get money f out of it. So. That's a better incentive on what you can do out of. And of course they offer their own official video on how on what it looks like and how you should do it. But we're not gonna look through that because 
I'm gonna go to this completely blind. And I gotta adjust this every single time. Actually, I think I might have... No, I'm just gonna just check each and every single time just to make sure. Okay, here we go, our first mission here. Now, we just qualify if we collide with um, objects. Would the opponents count as an object? I think of Yeah, that might- Yeah, I think that would be the case too. And look at that, we just- <laughs> All we just do is pass the same call three times. <laughs> That's all we do. Alright. Nice that this game features the- the latest generation of the Master was uh, or MX-5 or MX like me or whatever the hell you call it in your know, respective lands. And we win. I love how when there's a mission out, when there's a event with cars that we gotta do, the, the requirements for a particular medal actually actually has to be set in a, in a specific position rather than a time because in these six missions they will call us out but I don't find it necessary to be able to have it be sold out by time rather than you know the position we finish in otherwise it just make it would just be making the race pointless here yeah. so yeah okay now I'm, now I'm curious about this actually Let's take this out to a different track. Uh, Kyoto Dragon Park Mia be good for two that race and a GT by Citroen race car. So this is what the track looks like, Mia B for two laps. Hmm, I really wonder how this is gonna go for a two lap race. And we need to use racing tires, and we can even switch to enemy and heavy wets per usual. But we're not gonna do that because we're not racing on a wet world, nor is it raining. So let's get going. Number 37. <laughs> Maldonado. <laughs> There's actually a driver in here is named Maldonado. <laughs> I'm getting one of GT4 uh, LP of GT5 flashbacks where one of his drivers is named Maldonado for Beast Black. <laughs> well, I gotta make sure not to make contact because I think that will lead to disqualification if I uh, make contact with one car. Okay, that was close. I'm in second now, and we just and we're just completing the first lap. Got uh, Zayt self right up ahead of me, and the Alpha Romeo. Gotta be calm. Gotta be careful not, not to get off course or crash into them. Oh, try to cross over. Oh no no no! Oh god. I think I had that curtain whistle, otherwise I would have failed. <laughs> Alright. So this is what the new drive park looks like for um, GT Sport. I'm eager to see what the other tracks look like too. And we actually have two viewers watching. Nice. We used to have someone else on the stream maps here, so watching my stream. So, here's our money, my wish points, distance, and XP, and XP earned. This is that new, this is that second user or viewer that came in. Welcome to the stream. I'm, this is my first time playing GG Sport, so that's what the stream's about. Playing GG Sport for the first time and seeing, and just showing you guys what it's like. Alright, so, uh, now go with the cones. Hmm, this is... This is interesting. What is this? What does this look like? 
Oh, wait, so it's not so it's not a passing okay. mission or a waste mission. This reminds me of those coffee flakes where they mostly revolve around cones. <laughs> so yeah. Gonna go put it in it. Go with his usual driver options. Alright, so we have to knock down a hundred cones for gold, but to pass it we have to just only have to knock down fifty. Knock down as many cones as you can within a time limit. Twenty-seven seconds, that's what it says here. Let's see, what do we got? We got an alpha meter to drive. And we're gonna knock down a hundred. Oh, that wasn't that's not perfect. Yeah, that's just not going to be perfect, but I just want to be able to see how this works. Okay, apparently apparently going off floor doesn't really fail you. We get silver from this, but... Let's see, I want to be able to get exactly gold on this, so... It's going to be hard to get like, down those sets of 10 cones right there, but we'll have to see. How we can do so. Alright, so we have to knock them... Knocked him down at a specific angle. It would appear. Okay. All right. Cool. So we have to do it at a specific angle to knock down all ten cones within a, a specific set. All right, and done. Trophy. Another trophy earned. Pylon King. All right. And we reach. Uh, six figures. And how close we have. You know, I say this was interesting. I managed to do it with two seconds of spill. Alright, so that's what the missions offer. And the second experience. I wonder what this is. More detailed track by track. Apparently, this is required because it counts towards a full completion. <laughs> they even have one for that noise side. <laughs> oh man. And it's the creed of us off too. <laughs> and hey, look at that. What took way through Guna Seika? Or what was known as before as Moth Way through Guna Seika? Or we're gonna Seika Raceway. Hmm. Some new lessons right here. We're gonna go. Let's try out what the auto pull is uh, race course because I'm not really too familiar with this course and this is will be in Japan so yeah. No, apparently we can we just have to um Apparently we also get money from uh from reaching a requirement here for uh gold, apparently. So I would assume this is pretty much like, you know, the lights License tests, like license tests, uh, except it's more of just you learning the track and stuff. So yeah, let's go with this track, um, and we use a Lexus RCF GT3 race car for this. So sector one will be turns one to two. Now we just only have to pass the bronze, but let's go for the gold. Now I wonder how is how the how the um. It's like experience sector is just being judged on. Is it judged on how fine it is or is it being judged on the time? It's being judged by the time. Okay, so we just have to go at we just have to go at it at a fast pace on here. Okay, so Alright. So let's see how this goes. With this Lexus RCF race car. So this so this reminds me of the license it says pretty much the super license because super license is pretty much um, all of their licenses are one of time tries along specific courses. Okay. Now we finish with 22.9 for gold. And which look at that, it was it was easy. That wasn't perfect, but it was easy to get gold on it. Okay. 
If I do a recipe on this, I think I gotta figure out some way to be able to format this. <laughs> okay, so since we're here on this track away, let's go down to, sec to sector 2 and see what we need to be applying. Uh, this time we're gonna go for some more complex corners, so we have to be the goal of 49.6, but 54.3 for just, just for passing it. We do, and we don't even start at where the first sector ended. <laughs> so, if we want to get gold, it looks like you have to be absolutely perfect like in order to um, at this track in order to um, get through it. It's kind of interesting how they have different modes in order to, um, you know, be able to uh, advance through the game. Not just that, but also gives you better incentives of earning prize uh, money for this. Alright, well, Sector 2 would end here, but because this is a course experience, we have to conquer this uh, this uh, last help in order to complete it. Oh boy, that wasn't perfect. Are we gonna get gold? Yes, we are. I'm telling you, these events are pretty goddamn easy. Achievement prize quest level 1 completed. <laughs> And hey, for winning the course, you get money out of this, so that's gonna be nice. Yeah, we reach level 6. It's already 6 o'clock for me, and I... And I kinda want to end the stream soon. Alright, so sector 3 is gonna be turns level to 18. Which will end off right here. End up at the soft finish line over there, so... So this also reminds me of the uh, AMG Driving Academy from GT5, the, that special event. If you remember, you had to use a Mercedes-Benz uh, uh, two levers, how you drive a Mercedes 200 SL, a 300 SL, and the other two levers, how to drive a tuned-up version of the SLS AMG. G. Well, it had four sectors for you to, to um, drive on, and a one-lap time attack, although it was a track day with the uh, Calls or traffic calls are uh, occupying the racetrack too. Uh, it might be just like that. And then there was also two levels where we drive on a, a dry road surface, and then the other two had us drive on a wet road surface. And we just barely got gold, be it by almost a tenth. <laughs> Yeah, this is what it reminds me of that, because we ha it has one of the Nobuken North Star to drive them with different cars and different world services. Except this is just one car. This is one level with one car and one dry world surface. So, yeah. Alright. Now that we complete the sectors, let's, let's finish off uh, the stream with doing the one lap time attack. And we gotta be the one fifty two point seven in order to get in order to get a go for this. So yeah, so prime from what we learned from doing the sectors, we gotta do a whole one lap uh, one lap time trial to show us what we have learned and see how good we are on this track. Let's see here. All right, go. I gotta say, this is this is pretty much picked my interest to a whole new level when playing when I'm finally playing this game. And okay, that turn wasn't good as well. But yeah, this pretty much piqued my interest onto this game to a whole new level. Because even with just running the course, you get money. You get you get money incentives out of this. Prepare for this tight hill print right here. Alright. Goes up from a rough hill. And we're in the final sector, I think. So. I couldn't even imagine what the nose is gonna be like. It's gonna be four sectors or it's gonna be more. Because <laughs> apparently the nose swipe is in this is in this mode. And new follower. 
Black Turbo, we want to see. I can't really read your name there, but thank you, but thank you for the follow. Well, I tell you guys, this is the first stream where I finally was able to add in the, add in, in the look box. This is probably this is not gonna be perfect. This is gonna be gold. If it is, I'm gonna be very shocked. Oh, I beat it by two seconds. I had another new trophy on one, one, one. That wasn't even perfect, and I and I got gold. <laughs> wow. Big money prices along with the mileage points, distance driven, and XP. It looks like I reached my daily walkout. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> if we can out go, we still have a gift card. Oh, GT3 flashbacks because of this. What do we get? <laughs> it's all random. Looks like we get this Master Atenza race car. The Grade 3 race car. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe this. And it shows this. We got on Bronze Zone. We got a decal for this art post track. A decal for our silver and... That's, that's about it. But the gold prize was... Getting a prize car apparently. Wow. This just made my experience a lot more better. Yeah. <laughs> and my daily workout is completed. We also got a prize card for a daily workout. Okay then. What do we get? A Mini Cooper. <laughs> okay, we get a Mini Cooper from this. A 65 Mini Cooper S. One of those uh, Soros cars. And for the which one we unlock Brands Hatch for arcade mode. <laughs> Oh boy, why is that fuzzy haze still again? <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. But yeah. I think that's gonna be enough time for me to do, um, uh, of doing Contest Sport. But yeah, this is actually my first legit time playing Contest Sport. On the PS5, nonetheless, a PS4 game play, uh, being played on the PS5. That is unbelievable. But yeah, I really thank you all for watching this uh, stream. If you aren't, if you just joined in but wasn't able to watch the entire stream, uh, don't worry, this stream will be archived on my Wizard Fan Extra channel, so you'll find that link in my About section of my Twitch channel, so go ahead and subscribe to those if you want to see uh, any more future videos from me. And I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can be able to stream more of GT Sport. I kind of wanted to be able to play this game more in my off time, so. But I just decided to just stream this, just to show you that this is actually my first legit time playing this, and and I will call this uh, first impressions because that's what it is. And overall, what I would give this game is pretty much a I want to say a ten out of ten, but um, I don't know. There might be some there might be some stuff that uh, that I don't like about this, but. But to play it on the safe side, I'm gonna give this game a 9 out of 10. This is definitely a game that if you're a ra that if you're into racing, like me, and you're looking for a new game to play, this is the game to do so. Uh, this will be the game to play for a while because, as I stated earlier, coming up in 2021, who knows when it will be in 2021, but in 2021, Grand Theft Auto 7 will be released for the pre for the PS5. So if you're looking for a game to play whilst you're waiting for that, this is a game to play for sure. And <laughs> yeah. If I do more streams of this it might it will be for a good reason, I gotta say. Uh so yeah. I don't know if I will ever for want to participate in a Quintress Mode gaming championship, but who knows. This has elevated my experience to a whole new level right here. And I'm very happy to say that this, this is the first stream where we don't where we don't drop any frames. This stream has been turning absolutely perfect. Uh, as I see here on Streamlabs, I might 
Although, I may rewind that. I might actually, I might have actually dropped a little bit of frames, but who knows. But regardless of what, but regardless of everything, first stream, well, I don't drop any frames, and I'm happy on that. Uh, so yeah, I really thank you all for taking the time to watching this uh, stream, where we're watching live on Twitch, or just watching the archive on my Race to Fan Extra's YouTube channel. Uh, this was definitely a fun game to play, and definitely worth my time, uh, in my off time, whenever I want to game and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, I'm stick around and stay followed on this Twitch channel, cause I'm gonna be back on Monday with finally signing off, for real, my special personal project. So, if you want to be able to watch me live again, be sure to stick around Monday. Uh, I don't know what time I'll stream on Monday, but that will be the day I finally do the uh, special personal project. And for and before I end off the uh, stream, I'm going to see who is alive right now, cause I wanna, cause I wanna be this, cause I want this to be my first time being able to host them. Oh, why don't you the first hosting? Oh, not not hosting. He's streaming right now. I wanna host them. I don't think I have the, that much power to be able to raid someone because I don't have many followers on here, so we kind of pointless to raid. But I'll just host them because uh, I'm gonna end the stream up soon, and I really gotta do some stuff. Uh, we gotta edit those videos to come out of my YouTube channel soon. But yeah, <laughs> this was a fun time playing GT Sport, and I can't wait to be able to play this game even further. And I especially cannot wait uh, for. Grand Trust Mode 7 to come out soon in 2021. I really can't wait for that. Alright, so once again, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, have a good night, and as always, stay determined and stick around to fo be followed on my Twitch channel for more streams. And if you want, you can subscribe to my YouTube channels for voice actor content or any other type of content. Because uh, this stream will be all will be archived on my Richmond Extras channel for sure, in case if you guys um, haven't, you know. Have, have wasn't able to watch the stream live and stuff. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna take off. You guys have a good night. Stay determined, and I'll see you all later.